Okay, so showing you guys my 4 million coin team. Let's get into it. If you guys need some coins for Foot21, go to the website u7buy.com. They have the cheapest and the most reliable Foot online coins. Make sure you use my code NERDFIRE and check out for 5% discount for your order. Link will be in the description. Make sure you go over there now if you want to kick off Foot21 with the best team possible. Okay boys, so today we are back with a brand new video and as you can tell by the title today, I'm going to be showing you guys my pretty insane team. If you've seen my previous videos, you probably would have noticed I've spent a fair few FIFA points. I thought, you know what, let's go ahead, chuck some FIFA points on it, invest into the game and obviously then I'll have to, like cards to do SBCs, etc for videos for you guys. And realist, and you can go ahead and see what I managed to pack there. I've pr pretty much shown like my best pack pulls from the 150,000 FIFA points I spent. And then obviously I've gone ahead and built a team now. Obviously the full game is released for you guys that got the champions and the ultimate edition and then for you guys that are waiting for the standard edition that will be friday but today i'm going to show you my overall team and i'm going to show you like what i'm rocking what a rocking game etc my custom tactics instructions and then at the end i think we'll get into a game and try and show off this team if i can or i'll end up losing which wouldn't be great so yeah i think that's enough of me talking let's get ourselves into this team and i'll see you guys there okay so starting off with my goalkeeper of choice my team i've gone ahead and got manuel neuer basically he's in there because first of all he works with chemistry second of all he's not that bad um i mean keepers a keeper in this game so neuer is my choice in goal uh, costing around about sixty-five thousand coins moving then on to my right back really 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 good right back on this game aaron wambasaka um cost me 30k at the time i don't know if he's still that much i'm not too sure but a very solid right back got some very nice links as well and yeah he's really really good in this game then on to my first center back obviously one of the best center backs on the game excluding icons he is probably the best gold carded center back on this game virgil van dyke cost me 597,000 coins this guy is obviously a beast his tackling is insane you know i mean i don't have to explain van dyke you know van dyke's a beast in real life and also in this game and yeah i know it's a lot for a defender but when i had the coins i thought you know what i may as well invest in the defense defender is not the easiest this game and what better way to spend it than on big virgil van dyke moving then on to my left center back that is indeed klosterman i honestly rate this guy nearly on the same level as van dyke if not just behind him honestly the best 80 rated center back card i've ever used we're talking like fifa 17 chris smalling like levels that is how much i rate this card obviously he's got the pace there his tackling is really really good he's strong he can hold off a lot of players like i said his tackling is insane honestly klosterman if you guys can get him get him i mean i managed to pack him when he was extinct i think he's around about 10k now he is worth that 10k by a country mile. And then the final defender in the team I've gone for Schultz, obviously linking with Klosterman. I didn't have too many options, so I thought I'd try this card out. And Schultz is actually a very, very good player in this game. I actually probably could go for Alfonso Davies, but Schultz has been pretty solid for me so far. So now we move on to our midfield. Um, my first midfielder that you guys are seeing here is um, Vinaldum. This guy is incredible. I like to play a lot of the time a tall small partnership in defensive areas, um, especially, sorry, like CDM wise. And Vinaldum's kind of the smaller, the more agile kind of player. He's very, very good. Four star, four star. Would definitely recommend him. I actually had to snipe him though at 75,000 coins. By the time this video is out, he may have a different price range or he might be cheaper or more expensive. I'm not sure. But all I know is he's insane. Then his partner in crime in midfield is Leon Goretzka. This is my favorite midfield card I've used in this game so far. I've used a fair few midfielders and Goretzka is definitely my favorite one. He's a beast. He's solid, strong, got pace. Good passing, everything. Good defending, his tackling's insane. Genuinely, the partnership of him and Vine Adam is insane, but Goretzka definitely is my favorite midfielder so far. And then onto the big boy, the player that makes this team very expensive. I know a lot of my coins have gone into one player here, but as a Man United fan, I had to try out the king. Eric Cantona, this is baby Cantona, five-star skills, four-star weak foot, 87 pace, 90 dribbling, 88 shooting, 87 passing, 90 physical. I mean, the stats tell the story. I don't need to explain it anymore. This guy is incredible. For me, six games, seven goals, six assists in a two-striker formation. He is definitely very fun to use, and I really enjoyed him so far. And as you guys may know, I do enjoy skills a lot in this game, so he fits 
my playstyle perfectly. Then getting on to the attack, the first attacking player we've got is Mr. Gareth Bale. Thank God he's in the Premier League this year because he definitely helps out in terms of Premier League right wingers. There's not too many options and he is definitely probably by far the best out of the pack that you can get. I mean, Bale obviously speaks to himself. He's 83 rated, obviously a lot lower than last year. Well, a couple ratings lower than last year, but he is still insane. His, his finesse shots cutting into that left foot is insane. His strength, his finishing, very, very good card this year. Then moving on to the striker slot, another one of my Manchester United boys, Martial. This card is insane. And also, don't be misled by his goal scored. Basically, that was just because if you didn't know, if you score 100 finesse shots, which you can do in squad battles on beginners, you get yourself a 50k pack. So I definitely would recommend that to you guys if you want to get a 50k pack. But that's basically why his record's like that. However, he actually is ridiculous. Like the pace on him, the finishing, one of the best strikers I've used. I've used Mbappe, I've used Ronaldo. A little bit different to their play style, but Martial is very, very good. And then to wrap off the team, we have got his partner in crime in the Man United team, and that is indeed Marcus Rashford. Five-star skills, four-star week, but this guy feels literally ridiculous on the ball. Like, his dribbling is insane. He's finishing. His finesse shots are in good. His skills feel silky. Pace, power, shooting, everything you could want for a winger. This guy is sick. This is basically like the cheap Mbappe, um, you could say, for Rashford. Um, you could say cheap Neymar, but obviously he doesn't have the five-star weak foot. But Rashford on the wing or even probably up front, is incredible. Um, I do play him as a wide attacking midfielder, which you'll see in a sec. So yes, that is the players that I have got in my team. So I'll actually go ahead and show you the overall squad now. So as you can see, here it is in its flesh, looking very, very nice. So what I'll do now is I'll actually show you what I switched to in-game. So if you go to my custom tactics, my main one that I use is the 4 triple 2 As you can see, these are my custom tactics. So we've got pressure on a heavy touch on the defensive. Width is on 5. Depth is on 6. And then offensive style, we've got balanced. Width is on 5. Players on the box 6. Corners 4. Free kicks 4. And then what I actually switch my players around to in game with the 4 triple 2 As you can see, the goalkeeper and the back 4 are the exact same. I have Genie Vijnaldum on the left defensive midfield. Gareth Scott on the right defensive midfield. Left cam is Rashford. Right cam is Bale. Left striker Cantona. And right striker Martial. And then on to my instructions, kicking it off with the fullbacks, obviously on stay back while attacking. And then both my central defensive midfielders are on stay back while attacking as well. Then my wide cams are on just basic and my strikers are both on stay forward. And my formation tactics and instructions have worked very, very well so far for me. And then in case you wanted to see anyone that have my bench, I don't really use them too much, but this is what I've checked on here for now. Bervine is very good. I've tried him out. Groomer's not bad. Fred's very good. Navas looks like a very solid right back. Um, Pepe looks decent. Tellez looks good. And so does Pulisic. But like I said earlier, what I do want to do in this video is get into a game with this team, try it out and see what we could do with it. So that is what we're going to do now. We're going to get ourselves in a game with this team. So I'll see you guys when we found an opponent. All right, so it looks like we've got an opponent and our opponent's team is a decent looking starter squad. He's got Sula, he's got Boateng, Toliso, Witzel, Player, Kramaric, Gnabry, Diaby. Not too sure the left back is and the right back is Lema. and to stay good in goal. This should be an interesting game. Hopefully we can get the win with the team but let's get into the game. All right, here we go. Into the 4 triple 2 formation. Let's see what the boys can do. Good chase from Cantona. Cantona's through on goal. Eric, never move a dodgy touch, and he's moved his keeper. Here we go, though. Martial, composure. Oh, good block again. We've still got it, though. Goretzka plays it in to Anthony Martial. Cut back. Take it on Sula. Ay, ay, ay. Players took on Van Dijk. Van Dijk should not have been sold there. Oh, no. Klosterman. Oh, no. Oh my god, it went in. We are down 1-0 in 8 minutes. Not a great start. Okay, let's pick the composure up and get focused. Cantona. Cantona. Come on, King Eric. 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 Oh. Oh my god. What a finish. Eric Cantona. Oh my days. Take a bow. Wow. Okay, 1-0. Let's go. Up to Cantona. Win that. Good win. Martial out to Rashford. Back into Martial. Martial's in the middle. The keeper's coming. He's going to chip the keeper. And he scored two chips. Two goals. Martial puts us in the lead. Lovely play from Martial and Rashford there. Good one, two. And we are now in the lead. That's what we like to see, Klosterman. Oh, no, we don't like to see that, though. We don't like to see that. Oh, that is so lucky. That is so lucky. Ah, oh, okay, two all. That was just very unlucky there. Martial, just before half time. Martial just before half time and it's a hat trick of 
Chips! That is what we like to see again. The composure from Martial and his 3-2 going into halftime, which it is now. Whew. All right, well, action-packed first half with this game. Not the greatest defending on my half, but we've scored three chip goals, which are all done very nicely. So let's get ourselves into the second half and see what we could do there. Rashford, Rashford, go on. Ah. Uh, Oh, Cantona. Oh, it's a heavy touch and a half. Van Dijk's got to put a foot in there. Wamasaka, good cover him. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Genie Wijnaldum covering that right back. Klosterman. What a challenge, Klosterman. Oh, wow. Wow, Klosterman. What a challenge. Go on, Rashford. Oh, my God. What? Well, that didn't end as I expected. Um, yeah, my PlayStation obviously had an issue there. And uh, we got disconnected, but we'll leave it there. We were winning. But I think we showed enough, hopefully, in that gameplay that this team is insane. The chip goals are just ridiculous. Chip goals on this game are really, really good. Cantona is so good. Martial's good. Klosterman's insane. So is Van Dijk. It's a pretty good team. I mean, you'd hope it would be for the cost of it. But yeah, anyways, that is going to wrap up the video. Let me know in the comments what you guys are rocking currently right now as your team on FIFA 21 Ultimate Team. But yeah, guys, anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.